Hi guys, welcome to this session in LibreOffice Calc. In this module, I want to show you how you can highlight records that are related. And in this example, I want to highlight all the records that are in the same section. So we've got section one, two, and three. You can see it repeats down there. You've got a few fours and a couple of fives. So I've got five sections all together. I want all the ones highlighted, all the twos highlighted, all the threes, etc., etc. Now, before I do that, before I do the colouring in, I need to do a little helper column. So I'm going to use the counted function to basically count how many occurrences there are in this column of one, and then how many occurrences of two, etc., etc. So the counted function is equals count if open the bracket. So it needs a range. So the range in this example is going to be these figures here, and I need to F4 fix that into position and then comma and then the one I want to look at is sitting behind this now so B3 I'm just going to put B3 in there so the formula is looking down this and B3 is going to be the sort of movable thing when I pull this down so you'll see how it works in a second this needs to be fixed I could have named that but I haven't tick so it's telling me that, that there are two ones in this list which is correct and if I pull that down it's telling me there are four twos in this list one two three four and that's all there is so it's working how i want it to so just go down all the way and then you can see how that how that works so if i start changing some of these numbers to two for example you can see how it's changing um the quantity there to however many there are in there so there's obviously quite a lot of twos there now so i'm going to put some of these to ones just to get it to change so So like that. So now there's five ones. So it's it's working how I want it to work. So what I want that to happen is each section I want to colour up. So if it says five, I want it to be a specific colour. If it says four, etc. etc. Um I'm just gonna pick a couple of these. I'm not gonna do the whole thing, but I'll highlight the sheet and then we need to go into conditional formatting to get this to work. So conditional formatting, go into there and I'll just get rid of that one and add so basically I'm going to use the formula option so formula is and then bit equals the first bit is going to be equals 5 if it equals 5 I want it to go to a specific color so put equals 5 and then the color I want is a new style so the style I'll call is Steve. I'll just pick my own colour. And I want the background colour to be a specific colour. So let's go for a greenish colour. That's green, a bit a lighter colour than that. OK. So that's what I want to happen. If I click OK to that, all the five should go green. And here they haven't. What I have to do, which I forgot to do, is take the dollar sign off. Otherwise, it applies it to everything, as you can see there. So if I just go back into that condition, this dollar sign there I need to remove. So it only applies where that is true. Otherwise, it's just looking at the top line A3 all the time. OK to that. And then it highlights the ones that are just five. So if then I do one for four, go back into that condition, add and this one I'll change that to formula is same thing so it's going to be equals and this time it's going to be um, a3 take the dollar sign off equals 4 and then I'll pick one of the preset I'll just say good so it's a lighter green I click OK to that and that's done it. It's a bit of a clash in colours there, just widen that. And then the only other number I've got in there is a three. So I'll do that again. So I'll go condition highlight the table first. Conditional add formula equals that take the dollar sign off 
equals three. This time I'll pick bad, which is red, the default. You can create your own stars as you saw at the top one, but I'm just going to use these for now. Click OK to that, and it colors those in red. So I've only got three colors because there's only three sets of numbers. But to set this up um, permanently, you'd have to make sure you're catering for all the different variants in there in terms of numbers, if that changes. You just have to add a few extra ones in there if you think this is going to change up or down. So one, two, three, four, five, maybe six you might go for. You could go all the way up to ten. But that's the process. That's all I want to talk about in this little video. I can automatically colour up rows in a list based on uh, related information. So hopefully that was of use. Thank you for your time. I'll catch you in the next one.